So on today's video, I want to show you how to make a 12 volt receptacle for your uh, for your Rev XM or XS type sled. Uh, if you uh, have accessories like a GPS, uh, anything you want to plug in a 12 volt receptacle, uh, they don't come stock with these receptacles in the sled, and they're definitely very handy. I use I use one for my GPS, and uh, if you buy the receptacle from BRP, you're looking at I believe it's like 30 bucks Canadian at least, if not more. Uh, for something that's very very simple for you to make. You can make this for less than five bucks. I'm going to show you how to make it, how to install it. Very simple little project and it doesn't take much to do it. So uh, let's go to the bench and I'll show you what you got to do. All right, to uh, make this uh, project very simple, uh, what you're going to need to do is you need to buy one of these uh, 12 volt receptacles, uh, battery receptacles, cigarette lighter receptacles, call them whatever you want. Uh, you can buy these in your probably in your local automotive store, or you can buy them on eBay. And everything I purchase here basically has been on eBay. These things will range between a buck to five, I guess, on eBay. Um, gotta get one of those. Then you gotta get these two-pin waterproof connectors. Now these connectors are not the exact same connectors that's that's required in the sled. They're a little slightly different. But they do work. So these kits come into uh, little packages. They either are sold on an individual basis or in a group of five or ten. I recommend you buy more than one. If you buy one, they're like a buck. You can buy ten for like three. So buy ten. That way, there, uh, if you screw up a, a pin or something, you got spare parts. And I'm sure that once you do one of these here and you see how easy it is, you're going to be doing more for your buddies. So the extra connectors are going to come in handy. And then all you'll need to do is find uh, more receptacles. So that's what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, two uh, connectors for the back of the receptacle. And you're going to need two pieces of heat shrink tube if you want to do a nice tidy job. And some electrical tape. And two pieces of wire about 10 inches long. The end product, and I'll show you how to make it, is this basically, this little pigtail here. You're going to have one connector that goes to the receptacle that's under the hood of the uh, sled and then you'll have a connectors there for your 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 Volvo receptacle. So let me show you how to make this simple little pigtail. Okay, <clears throat> so the first part of the project is basically uh, assembling the this uh, this two pin connector. So this is what you get in the kit. Basically you get a bunch of pins, four pins, a couple of locking clips, and uh, four seals. So uh, first thing you want to do is before you you, you uh, strip your wire or whatnot is to uh, install insert the uh, the wire seal the seals here on these wires here all you do is just slide them in here on both wires this is what's going to be entered into the into the connector but enter them in like this then I'm just going to strip just a bit off here and this is 16 gauge wire so I'll take let's say a little less than a quarter of an inch maybe three sixteenths of an inch and same thing, maybe a little bit more here. Oops, that didn't work out. Oh, it did. I just did. All right. So, different pins come with this. You're going to try to find the female pins. That's the ones you're going to need. So, you can discard the male pins. You can discard this piece. You won't need that. And you won't need this piece as well. You use this is all you're going to really need. So what I do is I uh, I crimp the uh, the wire onto the female pin here, and I solder it. That way, there I know I'm going to get a good connection, and I'm going to get a solid wire here. So not that you're going to be connecting or disconnecting this at any point in time, but you definitely want to take the extra time and solder these. Because if you just did this, and you were to use this cable, uh, you'd probably end up uh, pulling it out. So here, let me solder this now. Oh, this soldering iron needs a little, little job here on the buffer here. All right. 
And soldering isn't a healthy thing, so make sure you're well ventilated wherever you're soldering. That's nice and soldered. And that's nice and soldered. Maybe not. Now it is. <clears throat> All right. So I've got both my connectors soldered and crimped. Now, what you want to do is let these things cool down a bit. Because if you slide in your, your, your seal too close to the insulation and it hasn't cooled down, uh, the insulation sometimes buckles a bit. So uh, let me uh, let these things cool down for a few seconds here. Okay, so th this thing is cooled down, so I've slid my little seals up to uh, close to the connector. Um, and now uh, it's time to assemble this thing. Here's the only thing you need to know or remember is uh, pin one is positive, pin two is negative on this thing. Uh, and uh, there's a indicator on the pin out here on this plastic tab. This is, shows you a one, this shows you a two. So that's the only thing you really need to know. Red wire on to put pin one. There's only one way to put these connectors in here. Uh, if you put them in one way here and you think you got it right, pull on it. If you can pull on it, you got it wrong. It's got to actually clip in here. So pin one, where am I? Pin one. Slide this in here and you'll feel it click. Once you feel it click, you know you got it right. When, when it doesn't come back out, you've succeeded. So do the same thing on this one. This is my ground. Slide that in. Nice and tight. It's clicked in here. Wires sealed in the back. Connectors in here. And this is the um, this is basically the uh, the the locking mechanism that slides in here, and it kind of keeps everything together here. So just click that on. Now this thing is locked, and uh, I got the pins right. I got red on one black on two and now I can continue my assembly but this part of the pigtail is now done. So we're just moving along here so the next part is to put these terminals on the um, on the wire uh, like I said if you have heat shrink tubes uh, use them they do a cleaner job so I'm just going to install these heat, heat shrinks on these wires Slide them in here. Strip these. Now, I don't obviously you can't solder these these uh, these connectors here. You could uh, solder the wire before crimping them, but I don't do necessarily do that. I uh, I rely mainly on the crimp here. Crimp this here. I'm gonna crimp this one. Now, on the eBay plug kit, I got some of these little connectors. I don't like them. They're a little further rigid. They look lower quality. They'll work, but um, these are some that I had in my in my little stock room there. So once I have the connectors placed, slip my heat shrink tube over, and without burning yourself, either with a lighter or a torch or a heat gun. So, Okay. And next step is I'm gonna I'm just gonna tape just gonna do a little tape, put these wires together and tape them up a bit. You don't have to do all this, but I like to do a nice clean job while I'm at it, so okay. let's call that good. So my pigtail's done. I got uh, the connectors ready. Everything's ready. So let me show you how to install this and this for your project. Now comes the assembly part of the project here. So first thing you want to do is if you have a windshield, I don't actually. I had a little windshield on this. And I popped it off, but uh, do remove the windshield out of the sled. That's the first thing you want to do. Then I'll that over here. Uh, this one's got the side, the side collectors here, so let me pull those off a bit here so I can rip 
part of the cab off. Because what we want to do is we want to get at the back here. So take a T25 and take the screws off. Okay, once you've got the five screws off, one, two, three, four, five, six actually, uh, what you want to do is you want to pull up the uh, part of the, the dash here and it's going to reveal a lot of the goodies that I've got inside mine here but uh, what you're going to install is right here so let me do a close-up of where we're doing the installation all right so under the hood what you have here basically is a location for uh, where the plug will be uh, not the plug but the receptacle will be installed and this is the famous plug here that you'll connect to Again, this is not the exact same same connector as what you just uh, fabricated, but uh, it does fit. So here, let me go get the parts. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install the uh, the receptacle. So uh, if this will help on the lighting here, maybe maybe not. Add this here. All you got to do is you got a connector here, not a connector, but a, a knob you pull out. And it reveals a hole so you can put your uh, your 12 volt socket. Install that. Put this in my pocket here. And you'll see that on these uh, back end here, there's a positive and a negative. I hope you can see that on the camera here. So there's a positive and a negative. So let's keep keep that in mind. We'll install this. Pull. and I will stop, stop this then grab our little pigtail here that we just fabricated and uh, this will connect only one way so I just connect that there here click uh, it doesn't have the perfect, perfect sealed connection. Again, not the exact same connector, but it works. We uh, look back here, top one right now is positive. So I will connect my positive red to the top one and my black negative to the bottom one. And I'll tuck these wires there. So, simple as that. This thing is actually installed. But before we shut this thing or close this thing up, I'm going to do a quick voltmeter test, make sure everything is working perfectly. What I'll do is basically I got my voltmeter. I'm going to uh, I'm going to probe the ground and the positive, and I'm going to start the sled. And what I basically, obviously, I got no no voltage right now. The sled, there's no power on this one. The volt, the um, sled's not running. So I'll power it up, and then I'll check to see if I've got 12 volts. If I've done my job correctly and I polarize everything correctly, I should get a positive 12 volts. So here we go. So you saw 14, a little over 14 volts, and uh, that's normal because uh, the, obviously you're not going off the battery, you're going off the alternator, so uh, all's good. Now we got to close this thing up. If you're going to do this with an impact, uh, be, be careful because you know these things are uh, stronger than these uh, little plastic uh, parts are. So obviously there's a metal clip in the back but I've been putting uh, enough of these screws with this impact so I know when to start and stop I just uh, don't necessarily recommend this as the tool of choice but it does work okay so I'm done and the 12 volt receptacle is now inside the uh, inside the uh, Glove box here, and what I have is basically my uh, my GPS uh, my GPS plug, and now I'll plug it in. 
I got my GPS plug wired through, comes through the handlebar, and I can now connect to my GPS. So we're done. Uh, very simple project, probably takes, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to do, uh, once you have the parts. Again, very simple, very cheap, uh, less than five bucks on eBay, you're up and running. Uh, and you can do some for your buddies uh, once you have uh, enough of the parts. I mean, I, I don't know how many of these I've done so far. I've done quite a few and I'll probably keep on doing quite a few. Uh, they're cheap, quick and easy to do. And it gets a 12 volts outlet on your sled. So um, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I can uh, save you a few bucks and uh, you can get that done on your sled. On the description below, I'll try to put in some, uh, or within the video, I'm not sure yet. I'll try to either put pictures of the uh, eBay two pin connectors that I uh, purchased and any other details and it will be out in the description. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like it.